Hey, what's up there crew? Matt Masalo here with the rhinestoneworld.com. In this real quick video, I want to show you an awesome new TRW reflective heat transfer vinyl that we now have on the website and it is the TRW Ice Blast Reflect. So this is a really cool material, but there's one thing that you do need to know about it before cutting. So the Ice Blast material, what it is, it's almost like a clear type material. Now when it goes on to the shirt, it's going to go on and try to match some of the background. It's almost like a translucent color where if you put it on a blue shirt, it's going to look gray and have a little bit of a blue tint to it. A pink shirt, it's going to look grayish and have a little bit of a pink tint to it. So let me show you a sample here real quick. So what you'll see on this shirt here is you're going to see how awesome it looks, how it's got a super soft feel because you can even see the different textures of the shirt right here. But see how it has kind of a grayish look to it, kind of that ice look, but then it gives a little bit of the blue tint because I put it onto a blue shirt. Same thing on black and red and green and so on. So it's a really cool looking material. But then the biggest thing is once the light hits this thing, let me show you real quick the difference between regular light and then direct light. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? So you can see the one on the left right there just has the regular light and the one on the right has direct light hitting it, whether you're outside or any type of lights at a stadium or car lights or anything or hitting that reflective material because it's going to give it that glow and give it that shine and get that attention. Now, one of the biggest things that's a little bit different about the ice blast versus our other regular reflective blast materials is the ice blast actually has a carrier sheet on it. So you're going to see a really shiny side and then you're going to see a dull side. The shiny side is your carrier sheet for where you're pressing. So you're going to cut the dull side, but before you cut it, let me show you here real quick along the edge and you might need to use a pick tool. There's a super thin layer of a protective area. So this protective layer is actually protecting the reflective material to keep it so it doesn't get nicked up and it's ready to cut. So if you do not take off this layer before you cut, it is going to be difficult to cut and to weed this material, okay? So you peel the protective layer off on the amount that you're going to cut or whatever you trim off. Then you feed it into your vinyl cutter, you cut it in reverse, and you're going to cut this side in reverse of the protective layer that you cut off. So that's the biggest thing that's different about this material. It's super freaking awesome, but let me show you the lights on, lights off test again, because that's the part I really love about these types of materials. And here we go, that same blue shirt I was showing you. Even with light in the room right here, this is with the light on, and you can see how reflective it gets. Light off, goes back to that kind of grayish color, a light hits it again and you get this awesome look. All right, so hopefully this video helps you out. Hopefully it helps you out as far as making mistakes when you're cutting with this vinyl. Make sure you peel off this protective carrier sheet, this protective layer before you cut it and you will be good to go. And always test cut before you do a big cut because you don't want to waste material based on your blade, whatever vinyl cutter you're using. Do a test cut, make sure it's cutting good, cut away and go make some money. Thanks for watching, hope this video helped. Comment below and we'll see you guys soon. Later crew.